Just a quick note before I start the video, I'm adding this part in actually post-production. The footage you're seeing is the very first Versus video I made over eight years ago. Um, I had two subscribers at the time and it was on my channel for about a day before I decided it was really bad and deleted it. So I thought it would be funny just to kind of put the uh, footage over while I talk about this um, subject with you guys. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? It's Soup here. It's been years since I've really posted anything as sustenance, and it's been years since I've talked to most DNs. But I want to talk about Star Wars vs. videos before I make any other video in this uh, YouTube channel. And I want to talk about some of the people who I think really uh, impacted uh, the vs. video making community, quote unquote, the most. And I just want to talk about my history with it and uh, why I probably won't be making more versus videos. I posted a poll on my YouTube channel a couple months ago and it said, hey guys, you know, I'm thinking about making videos, but when I do so, I think some of them are not gonna be Star Wars related. Uh, it would mean I post more frequently, but it means it'd be less Star Wars overall when it comes to my post history. What'd you guys think of that? And um, some, most of you guys actually responded pretty positively, but there was a minority of people who said, you know, hey, uh, you know, we're here for Versus videos, so can you please do more Star Wars Versus? I feel like I personally don't have anything else to contribute to Star Wars Versus, and I feel like a lot of that is because um, there is creators that have a lot more strength and have contributed a lot more to it than I have. Um... The four people I want to talk about are Gen Sarai and Grey Jedi 91, uh, Rico, Chico, Maliko, who uh, I think it goes by Rico Plays Games now, and Antoine Bandelet. Now, as far as I know, and I don't know this factually, but as far as I know, Gen Sarai 1 and Grey Jedi 91 are the two OGs. Um, like I said, all I know is I shamelessly ripped this format off of somebody. So, <laughs> I took that shit off of somebody. I don't know who it was specifically, but I think it was one of those two. And, you know, I think uh, even if Grey Jedi 91 wasn't necessarily the very first one, um, I know that he played a huge part in really kind of refining the idea of it. Um, him and him and Jen Sarai, for sure. But the thing that made Jen Sarai's videos uh, so great for me... Uh, was really just the thoroughness of them. I'm pretty sure he was the very first Versus uh, video I've ever watched, and um, his videos were just filled with absolute nerd ranting. And I mean that in the best possible way because I eat that shit up. You could just tell this dude was insanely passionate about Star Wars, and he would take it to like the most intricate details, and then he would like create a video in and on itself about these details and. You know, why people are wrong about, you know, believing this kind of just generally accepted idea about a certain character. He would just go into such ridiculous detail, and he would go on about it for not just, like, a short period of time. He'd really, like, give a full-on nerd rant, and I loved that shit. And I think the reason why is because as I'm an easily excitable person. If um, Even if you're talking about something I particularly don't care about... If you get excited enough about it, and I can see that like, you're passionate about it, I start to get kind of hyped up about it too. I don't really know why I'm like that, um, but I've always kind of been. So, like, to see him take a, a, a subject that I already cared a lot about and just get so passionate about these small details and why they actually matter to the greater picture of the matchup, and just talk about like these obscure fighting styles and why this style is actually, you know, counter to that style and things like that. And pull out these like re like really obscure sources. I just couldn't help but to eat that shit up for a long time. And he was just really entertaining for me. And a lot of time I rarely agreed with him. But he would pull out so, such obscure details. And give such elaborate arguments. Sometimes I would just be like okay well I don't know what to say to that. So you know I mean <laughs> it's just kind of like you're screwed. Like he's got you. His passion was just very contagious. And, uh, who doesn't love, like, a good nerd, uh, rant? You know, it's just fun. Um, Grey Jedi 91 was kind of the polar opposite of that, in a way. 
he didn't really have so much vested interest in who was going to beat who or, you know, who's the better lightsaber duelist or is this lightsaber style, this or that, whatever. He didn't, he didn't care so much about that. It seemed like, it seems like he saw this as a, a great way to just kind of retell some of these characters' histories in his own style. And his style was very cinematic. Um, obviously, he had like a great like radio or YouTube voice. His voice just like melted like butter, so he was easy to listen to from the start. But he was like a writer. You could tell that this dude liked to write, and the way he would retell these stories is the same story you heard a million times. But the way he retelled it made it seem like you just heard it from the first time again, and uh, it was just a, like absolute pleasure to listen to him uh, kind of talk about these different things in the mythos in his own voice. Um, it was really a, a cinematic experience at the end of the day. It, this dude should have been doing audiobooks. I really think he should have been doing audiobooks. He was just a pleasure to listen to for sure. And to be honest, it just wasn't about the way he told these stories. It was also the way he like formatted the videos. Not only was it really heavy on the biography section of it, but just this video editing style and the music selection it just had like this really awesome ambience to it it was so fucking chill and it just really served his style of storytelling really really well it, his storytelling and his uh editing ambience just like complemented each other perfectly and it just made them even more exceptional so that shit was pretty amazing now, with Rico Chico Malico, uh, just Rico for short, uh, I have to give a bit of a disclaimer. Uh, he's someone I've been friends with for quite a long time, uh, since my late teens and early 20s uh, when I was making these YouTube videos. But even before I was his friend, uh, what really made me interested in his videos was reminded me of reading a comic book. And I learned to read from comic books. I've been reading comic books since I was five years old. So easily over 20 years, and that's just one of my favorite things to do. So I can't really put my finger on why it reminded me of that. And maybe it's because it was easily digestible, it was immediately gratifying, and it was exciting. And it had a very familiar feeling. But at the same time, it wasn't always what you expected, if that makes any sense. Uh, maybe if you read comic books and you've watched uh, some of Rico's old versus videos, uh, you would kind of know what I mean. Um, but it was like very comforting. It was like almost like comfort food in a way. Um, there was just something very familiar about it and exciting. And uh, you know, you could just kind of jump right into one of his videos and uh, get so much enjoyment from it just right off the bat, if that makes any sense. Now, with Antoine Bandelay, it took me a while also to put my finger on what I really liked about his. Um, but I think with Antoine, what you could kind of see was the dude was really invested in the entire process of making the video. Uh, not only was he, you know, invested in Star Wars, not only was he invested in the characters, not only was he invested in writing uh, this format for these Versus videos, but he was also really invested in the editing process. Every part of this vi this dude's videos, you could just see every piece of it he had a lot of passion for and and he was just very meticulous about. And it just came out and when you put all those pieces together, you get like a great video uh, just all around. His editing skills really made me take a look at mine and say like, hey, how can I improve uh, the way he would... Um, you know, cite things on screen using, you know, quotations and things like that, like citing them almost like a research paper, but still in like a stylistically pleasing to see way. You could just tell this guy, you know, just had a lot of passion for the entire process. Um, and I'm sure, you know, there's parts of it he liked doing more than others. And I'm sure it wasn't like he was thinking to himself, oh, I'm super passionate about this. But for someone on the outside looking in, um, at his video, it, that's the way it felt. Um, a guy who just, uh, you know, was really gifted in the entire process of making these videos. And um, I think even to this day, he still has that sort of same editing style and uh, writing style and things like that. I know the dude's written a shit ton of books, 
So, I mean, clearly the dude knows what he's doing and, you know, he's very motivated. And I think that came across a lot uh, with his um, videos. And to finally talk about myself, I definitely feel like I had some certain strengths when I came to me making these YouTube videos. But I feel like my strengths weren't as strong as these guys's. And I'm not trying to draw comparisons to myself and them to beat myself up. But my point is, is I feel like I can't really do anything that hasn't already been done. And on top of that, I feel like the entire Versus series, Star Wars stuff, has been, um, has kind of run its course. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, um, because there's always new ways to reinvent things, but I'm just not willing to really put in the energy to try to reinvent the wheel. Um, I feel like the categories to break up these different arguments about who would win the fight, you know, like weapon skill and force skill and strength and, you know, things like that, though there's different categories we used to use, I feel like that was necessary to grow the uh, series and to, you know, create almost like a standard for us to kind of talk about things in a format for us to keep it all organized. But I also feel like uh, with the retconning of the Expanded Universe, it has made things very predictable. You know, no more new content for the Expanded Universe is being made, but more and more people are reading it. You know, that number might be small compared to the new stuff, but when you're not releasing new material, people are just becoming more and more knowledgeable, but there isn't as much knowledge, so to speak, to find. Um, and on top of that, like, uh, there's just been a million different matchups. So either you're picking one that's already been done, uh, one that's, you know, completely one-sided, or one that's just like nobody wants to see. Those are your really options. And uh, I feel like that's kind of the reason why Versus videos really aren't being made anymore. I know Rico doesn't make them at all anymore. Um, I've, last I heard from Great Jedi, he's a pretty busy dude, but he doesn't make them anymore. And uh, I feel like Jen Sarai uh, harkens back to these things. But I think it's less about the overall argument and him kind of going back and kind of analyzing these different points about the actual character themselves as opposed to, you know, the, the actual matchup. And I feel like that's what I really, like I said, enjoy the most about him, was these intricate details he'd go into about a character, as opposed to who be to. But, you know, when I was making these videos for the Versus series, uh, I was in my late teens and early 20s. Um, I was going through a pretty hard time in my life because I was dealing with a major illness, and this gave me something to do. And, um... You know, like I said, I became friends with Rico, I became friends with Grey Jedi, and uh, I've even had like uh, some short talks with uh, Antoine and I think even Jen Sarai at one point in time. And even regardless of whether I was friends with these people or if I talked to these people or not, I felt like I was part of a community. And uh, I could say the same thing with you guys who had watched my videos and commented and everything like that. You know, it was just nice uh, to all be interconnected in some sort of way however distantly and to talk about Star Wars but I feel like there's becoming less and less to talk about when it comes to matchups and um, I'm still not really blown away by the new canon stuff enough where I'd go back and go through this huge long process of writing a versus video now I'm not saying that I'll never make one ever again I'm saying maybe I will but I can almost guarantee if I were to do so um, it's going to be a lot different than the videos I used to make for Versus. Uh, I feel like it's going to be much more candid like I am right now. Uh, it's going to be a lot less scripted, and they're probably going to be a whole lot shorter. Um, just because I feel like there's other videos I would want to make and other things I want to talk about that uh, I'd rather allocate that time to. But I just want to say thank you guys for your support, and I hope you found this um, conversation interesting. It was fun to just talk about, it was just fun to talk about all these different Versus video creators and what I enjoyed about them and what I enjoyed about the community and the whole process of making them in the first place. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys continue to stick around because I have a lot of different things coming, and um, I will talk to you again very soon. And like always, may the Force be with you.